Dangote's early years in business were marked by his entrepreneurial spirit and drive to succeed. He started his own small trading businesses at the age of 21, which dealt in commodities such as rice, sugar, and cement. His business grew rapidly and he soon became a major player in the Nigerian trading industry. In 1981, Dangote established the Dangote Group, which would eventually become one of the largest conglomerates in Africa. The company started as a small trading firm dealing in commodities, but Dangote had a vision for it to become much more. He wanted to create a company that would contribute to the economic development of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Dangote's early years in business were not without challenges. However, in the 1980s, Nigeria was going through an economic crisis and many businesses were struggling to survive. Dangote's company was no exception, and he was forced to borrow money from friends and family to keep the business afloat. Despite these challenges, Dangote remained focused on his goal of building a successful business empire. He started to invest in other industries, including cement, sugar, and flour milling. And his company continued to grow rapidly. By the 1990s, the Dangote Group had become one of the largest industrial conglomerates in Nigeria. Dangote's success in business was not limited to Nigeria. However, in the 2000s, he started to expand his business empire into other African countries, including Benin, Ghana, Togo, and Zambia. Today, the Dangote Group has operations in over 10 African countries and is one of the largest conglomerates in Africa. Throughout his career, Dangote has been known for his philanthropy and commitment to giving back to his community. He has donated millions of dollars to support education, healthcare, and poverty alleviation initiatives in Nigeria and other African countries. In 2014, he established the Aliko Dangote Foundation, which is dedicated to improving the lives of Nigerians through strategic investments in health, education, and economic development. In conclusion, Aliko Dangote's early life was marked by his exposure to the world of business and entrepreneurship from an early age. He was inspired by his grandfather and father's success and was determined to make a name for himself in the business world. His entrepreneurial spirit and drive to succeed led him to establish the Dangote Group, which has become one of the largest conglomerates in Africa. Despite the challenges he faced along the way, Dangote remained focused on his goal of building a successful business empire and giving back to his community. The Dangote Group is the largest cement manufacturer in Africa, with operations in 10 African countries. The company produces over 45 million metric tons of cement annually, which is more than any other cement manufacturer on the continent. The group's flagship cement company, Dangote Cement, has become a household name in Nigeria and all the African countries thanks to its high quality products and affordable prices. The company has also made significant investments in the development of infrastructure, including the construction of new cement plants and expansion of existing ones. The Dangote Group is one of the largest producers of sugar in Africa, with operations in Nigeria, Niger, and Cameroon. The company's sugar business is based on the production of refined sugar from sugarcane and it has invested heavily in the development of sugarcane plantations, sugar mills and refining facilities. The company's sugar business has helped to create thousands of jobs in rural areas and has also contributed significantly to the economic development of countries in which it operates. The company's salt business is based on the production of ionized salt which is an essential component of a healthy diet. The company has invested heavily in the development of modern salt production facilities and has also launched several initiatives aimed at promoting the use of ionized salts in Nigeria and other African After, countries. You know, a year or so, I realized that, look, I have much more than uh, 12, 13 billion. You know, and I said, okay, fine, all these numbers are just reaching numbers. Yeah. You know, and uh, one day I went to uh, a bank. Yeah. You know, at that time there were no restrictions of this, and I wrote uh, a check and uh, cash, ten million dollars, 
and I took it home. For yourself? For myself, yes. I you cashed ten million ten dollars, dollars from the yes, bank? Yes. Yes. And took it? I put it in the boot of my vehicle yeah. and I went home and I opened it and I look at ten million and I said that okay fine. Now I believe I have money. <laughs> the company's floor business is based on the production of wheat floor and other floor products which are used in the production of bread, biscuits and other bakery products. The company has invested heavily in the development of modern flour milling facilities and also launched several initiatives aimed at promoting the consumption of locally produced flour products in Nigeria. And, uh, yeah, it was fun when we got to know each other. We would uh, be uh, traveling around Lagos where the traffic gives you lots of time to sit and talk uh, <laughs> sometimes. And, you know, I'd be showing a leak of my charts about, hey, Sokoto has a pretty low vaccination rate. Uh, you know, and Kano needs to do this. And, and Aliko, he really knows people. He has relationships. He's willing to reach out to people. So he'd say, hey, let's call the governor, you know, and we'll talk to him about this. And sure enough, you know, next thing you know, we've got the governor of Sokoto on the phone. We're talking about uh, this. And so this ability now to reach out, to draw on the, the broad relationships uh, that Aliko's developed. And, you know, I'm pretty shy about calling people. I just want to mail them my chart. Uh, uh, but in fact, uh, what's come out of that is that uh, Aliko and I do a video conference call uh, with six of the governors in the northern states where uh, twice a year we look at uh, vaccine coverage. You know, are, is the supply chain working? Are the workers showing up? Are the health care posts in the right locations? Uh, and it's a big challenge, but uh, really drawing on The Dangote Group has also made significant investment in the real estate industry with a focus on the development of affordable housing for Nigerians. The company's real estate business is based on the construction of high-quality residential and commercial properties which are designed to meet the needs of Nigerians at all income levels. The company has invested heavily in the development of modern real estate construction technologies and has also launched several initiatives aimed at promoting the development of affordable housing in Nigeria. In conclusion, Aliko Dangote's various businesses have made significant contribution to the economic development of Nigeria and other African countries. The Dangote Group's cement, sugar, salt, flour, and beverage businesses have helped to create thousands of jobs and have also contributed significantly to the development of infrastructure in the countries in which it operates. The company's real estate business has also helped to address the housing needs of Nigerians at all income levels.